Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to the AG Spanish Center in Stockton, California. Tonight, the Fullerton Titans are in town. Tigers hosting Cal State Fullerton. Pacific comes in with a 10 and 8 overall mark, 3 and 2 in the Big West Conference, and Cal State Fullerton is 7 and 8 with a conference mark of 2 and 3. Tigers are coached, of course, by Bob Thomason, who has a superb record now in this building. He has uh, done quite a job in uh, establishing this Spanish Center as a place that opponents do not like to come and uh, perform. And Cal State Fullerton is coached by Bob Hawking in his fourth year with an overall mark of 33 and 62. He is two and four against Pacific, and Hawking is 0 and three in this building. Tigers are looking for their 26th straight win here in Stockton. And for the record, Kansas is the number one team in the country with 55 straight home wins. New Mexico is second. I've given that distinction now to Utah and Arizona, but the bottom line is that it's New Mexico, Kansas, and Pacific. Those are the three top teams in terms of winning streaks at home. Tigers tonight are going to be uh, with Adam Jacobson, Corey Anders in the backcourt, Ray Mahaffey, Aaron Velichko, and Michael Alawakandi up front. And for Cal State pullers in the backcourt is made up of Chris St. Clair, who is a 6-foot, 170-pound senior. And Craig Whitehead, St. Clair's the point. Whitehead is the number two guard, 6'6", 190-pound senior from Belleville, Illinois. Small forward is Jason Cunningham, 6'5", 190-pound senior from Los Alamitos. Power forward is Mark Richardson at 6'7", 215 pounds, a junior from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And the center is Mikey Tyson, 6'8", 225-pounder from Troy, Michigan. Tigers are dressed in their home white jerseys and trunks with orange numerals trimmed in black. Cal State Fullerton in their road dark blue, navy blue trunks and jerseys with white numerals trimmed in orange. The officials tonight are Jim Danner, Terry Tackett, and Lonnie Dixon. This is Dave Rosselli with Dick Fickner, and we are just about set to get underway from Stockton as the Tigers look to finish up this homestand 4-0 before they go on the road for four straight beginning next Thursday night at the University of Idaho, moving on to Long Beach State, and then to Santa Barbara and Cal Poly before they come back home. Terry Tackett will throw the ball up at center court as Michael O is standing there along with Wykey Tyson, and we are just about set to get underway, and Pacific controls the tip as Ottawa Candy swats it back to Adam Jacobson, who had a rough night against UC Irvine on Thursday. But Corey Anders and uh, Michael Ottawa Candy and Rain Mahaffey came through. Here's Jacobson with the ball top of the arc, feeds it to Anders for a three. It's off the mark, but Michael O is there, and he lays it in. And actually, it was probably an alley-oop pass for Michael. The way that Corey released the ball, he was expecting Michael to go back door. Michael was there and laid it in, 2 nothing Pacific. Richardson with the ball about 16 feet away from the basket. Looks to get it inside to Tyson. Does. Tyson goes up. Shot is blocked by Michael. His first of the night out of bounds off of Fullerton. Tiger basketball. Ottawa Candy had seven blocks on Thursday night. He is closing in on the all-time record for a Pacific shot blocker. He's just 13 swats away. Tiger basketball leading two to nothing. There's Jacobson left side. Corey Andrews who has an assist already. Jacobson with the left hand now with the basketball, 20 feet away to Velisco. Fakes right, comes left into the corner to Anders. Back out to Jacobson, 18 seconds on the shot timer. Mahaffey has the ball now, post up inside Michael. Wants to go to the hole, and it's stripped away from him, but also a foul is called on St. Clair, the guard who is doubling down on Michael. And St. Clair has called for his first personal team's first at the 1901 mark, and the Tigers will inbound. It'll be Jacobson, a uh, bigger part of Velisco. We welcome our viewers on Media One tonight. This game being simulcast in the Stockton and Lodi areas. There you see the score. 2 0 Pacific on top with 18.54. Left to go in the first half as Velichko fires a three, and it's perfect from 21 feet. Aaron Velichko had three of those on Thursday night against Irvine. He's got one already. It's 5 0, 18.40 to go. First half. Here's Whitehead, right hand dribbled on Corey Anders at 15 feet. He kicks it back out to Cunningham. Cunningham spins it to the right side. And then they come back to the left to uh, St. Clair and in the wing to Cunningham. Right side for a jumper at uh, 15 feet that's taken out there by Whitehead. No good. Rebound comes down out of a candy. Tigers have a 5 to nothing advantage and in possession of the basketball. Jacobson into the full court. Feeds it in the corner to Corey Anders for a three-point shot now to Mahaffey and it's perfect. 
Lane Mahaffey wide open at 20 feet and Bob Hawking calls timeout, a 20 second timeout <coughs> as the Tigers have converted on all three offensive possessions and lead 8-0. Yeah, Fullerton has come out, Dave, in a 1-2-2 zone, uh, really trying to surround Michael Orwakandi inside. Corey gave him a real nice lob pass right up at the rim that he won up and uh, scored the first basket of the game. And now, you know, with the two three-pointers now by Pacific from the outside, they've opened up an eight to nothing lead. I don't think Fullerton can be successful playing this particular zone defense. I think they're going to have to probably change, and maybe that's why Coach Hawkins called a timeout. I think they're going to have to get after Pacific man for man and get the tempo going that way instead may, of sitting in a zone. They may not have much choice, but when you go man to man with Michael and your center six eight, you're going to have trouble that way also. But. That is the problem that Pacific present, uh, uh, presents to its opponents. They can hit from the outside, and in fact, one of the best centers in the country inside, if not the best. Here's Whitehead now, 22 feet away. They look inside for Tyson. They post it to him. Tyson feeds it back out to Whitehead, 20 feet away from the basket on the uh, left corner. As the pass comes to uh, Mark Richardson, and right back out is to uh, St. Clair. They'll set it up again with 10 seconds of the time. St. Clair dribbling baseline, kicks it inside Tyson. Tyson shot is blocked out of bounds by Michael. As Tyson was going up for the basket in the key, Michael swatted out of bounds, his second block. 17 minutes and 38 seconds left in the first half, with six seconds on the timer, the Titans will inbound, baseline left, comes way out on top. As uh, Jason Cunningham feeds it back to St. Clair, he penetrates and he banks it up and in off the glass. Michael went up into the air, he actually leaped to try to block the shot and went over his outstretched right hand. That tells you how high up that shot had to go. High off the glass, it came backing back. It's 8-2, he's going to on top. Well, the Anders feeds in the right corner to Volitsko, and he tries to post up Michael, it's knocked out of bounds. Knocked out by uh, Tyson. And Volitsko will inbound from the right baseline with 21 seconds. He's got time. He's got turn, uh, 13. Inbound pass comes to Mahaffey. It was high. He went up and got it. Richardson knocked it loose. Mahaffey came down with it. Jacobson at 25 feet. Left side, Corey Anders. Three-point shot. Good. So Corey, Volichko, and Jacobson have hit from the outside. And Michael has scored inside. It's 11-2. 16.56 to go. First half. Here's Whitehead with the basketball. Corey Anders has his left elbow resting on Whitehead's hip. Richardson with the basketball 15 feet away. In the corner, right side, it comes to uh, Whitehead, who travels. Got double teamed out there as he started to think about penetrating and just lost control of the basketball. That's the uh, first turner of, over of the night for either team. Now the Tigers have it leading by nine with 16.44 left first half. Well, Pacific's doing a great job attacking this zone defense, and, and Fullerton looks like they're matching up now and going to go man for man, Dave. They're going to get out of their zone. It just uh, gives the Tigers too good a look at the basket. Well, and they bring in their best athlete to do it. Chris Dade has come in for Whitehead. Here's Volichko's three-point shot that's good again from 22 feet. Aaron Volichko has two. Remember, he's got his left wrist heavily bandaged. He's got a broken left wrist, actually, or a bone within his wrist. Cunningham thinks about taking the shot, feeds it out to Dade. His three-pointer is no good. Offensive rebound taken out by Cunningham. He'll shoot again. That one's good. A three-pointer from 20. Cunningham grabbed the rebound at 15 feet, dribbled out to 20, and shot it. It's 14-5 with 16.04 to go. Jacobson is being uh, hounded by St. Clair, and it's knocked out of bounds, but it was last touched by Jake. Maybe it wasn't knocked out. Maybe Jake just lost control of the basketball. And it will be a Fullerton ball with 15.59 left to go in the first half. And we have a timeout, an official timeout. So we'll take a break with the scoreboard showing Pacific 14 and Fullerton 5. Shoot 25 threes, even though they're hot right now. 
You know, they're sinking in so much on Michael. Uh, they're doing a good job, you know, shooting from the outside. Now they're now Fullerton has to adjust to that. That's when you go in some. Dave Rochelle, Dick Fickner with 15.59 left to go here in the first half from Stockton as the Titans are in town. You're uh, either watching this one live on Media One, Stockton and Modesto, or you are listening to this on KJAX in Stockton or K5 in Modesto. Our next broadcast will be next Thursday night as Pacific is in Utah, Moscow, Utah, facing uh, University of Idaho. It's a 7 o'clock start. So we'll be on the air at 6.30. St. Clair with the basketball. Fullerton trails here, 14-5. As St. Clair bounces the basketball now to uh, Jason Cunningham and a turnover inside. Good Pacific defense. Pacific's playing very aggressive man-for-man -man defense. And uh, they've caused uh, Fullerton some, some stress here and pressure on the ball all the time. Jacobson gets the ball now. He's over the timeline with 15.35 to go in the half. Mahaffey has it in the corner right. Now to Velichko, right side angle. Cross-court pass to Anders, to Jacobson. Back to Velichko, right side to Mahaffey. Post up inside Michael. Right-hand hook is good. Nice movement of the ball on that sequence as Mahaffey gets the assist to Michael O on the right block. 16 to 5. Michael has four points. Velichko has six. Tigers are perfect. Six for six from the field. Here's Dade at 17 feet. Backs in. Now double clutch. Banks it up. It's no good. Gets his own rebound. Ball is stripped as he goes back up. He gets it again. Michael blocks the shot. Richardson gets the rebound and banks it in. So, three opportunities, and they finally convert it. 16-7. Here's a press by Fullerton in the backcourt, and it's picked off as Jacobson threw it into the hands of Jason Cunningham. St. Clair is now fouled by Jake. With 14.46 left to go, and so Jacobson... Uh, First threw the ball away and then committed the foul. First team foul on the Tigers. And the first personal foul on Jacobson. St. Clair will inbound, baseline left. I would think the Titans are going to do more of that. Try to force Pacific into turnovers to get the basketball back. Here's a spinning double clutch 12-footer that's no good, but Richardson gets the offensive board again and puts it in off glass. The initial shot was taken by Ike Harmon, who just checked into the game at 6'7", 190 pounds. Here's the press again. Tigers bring it up the floor, leading by 7, 16-9, and a foul is called on Harmon as he was trying to strip the ball away from Michael O. And it was out at about the midcourt stripe. It'll be a common foul, second on Cal State Fullerton. So Harmon, who's got a bad toe, is in the game, and uh, Chris Dade, who has a sore jaw for having four wisdom teeth removed last week, is in there as well. Tigers lead by 7 with 14-18 to go. They're playing catch out there on the perimeter. Jacobson has it right side, Lurichko. As they sag on Michael down low. Corey Anders, 20 feet out, cross court, Volichko dribbles once, gives it up to Jacobson with 17 on the shot timer. As Jacobson feeds it into Michael, he's fouled before he gets the shot up. He ended up making the shot. But Michael was held first, and so the Tigers will inbound baseline right. And that is the third team foul on the Titans, and the first personal foul on Wiki uh, excuse me, on uh, Ike Harmon. And Harmon now comes out of the basketball game. And Mark Richardson is, uh, well, actually, it's going to be Jason Cunningham. No, take that back. Matt Caldwell, 6'8", 220-pounder, is in for Ike Harmon. Caldwell is the big guy, and he's right now defending Rain Mahaffey. Tigers have a new 35 to work. Jacobson loses control of the ball, gets it back. Double team, kicks it to Mahaffey. To Go back to Mahaffey for a three on the way, in and out. And Cunningham gets the rebound on the pass to Whitehead as he, or St. Clair, as he dribbles to the right corner. St. Clair keels out now. Had a two-on-one developing. Richardson has it 17 feet away. Inside Caldwell, stripped away by Jacobson, and a jump. The possession arrow is in favor of Cal State Fullerton. It'll be a tight basketball with 24 in the shot timer, 13-32 in the half. 69 Pacific on top. And from the right baseline, St. Clair will inbound the basketball. He lobs it out to Caldwell, tries to, but it's knocked away and picked off by Michael Lowe, but it goes out of bounds. Michael had it, was stripped out of his hands. Jacobson got a piece of it. Corey Anders tapped it for a moment, finally went out of bounds. It'll be a Titan ball. Now they have 33 seconds since they say possession changed. And the new shot clock, 13-25 left first half. Pacific leads by seven. Tigers playing a man-to-man -man defense. Jacobson is guarding St. Clair. Now Velichko is defending on the far side of Jason Cunningham. There's a pass that comes inside to Richardson. Fall away. Shot is short off the front iron. Rebound uh, Matt Caldwell. 
And we have a whistle and a traveling violation. Tigers got a piece of the ball. That's Caldwell was in the air. Caldwell was forced to come back down to the floor. Out of control, took the step. Here's the press in the backcourt. The seven-point Tiger lead, 13.07 to go in the half. Pass up the floor to Mahaffey. He's falling out of bounds as he tries to get it. And the Tigers turn it over. That's turnover number three, and it's all based right now on the press. Yeah, Fullerton is, is in their 2-2-1 two, two, zone press every time they can get set in it. Now, they can get set in it any time they make a field goal or a free throw or the ball is at watered out of bounds like it was the last time and the shot clock uh, stopped. So any time the clock is not running or a basket has been made, Fullerton has been in the 2-2-1 zone press and it's causing Pacific a little problems right now. They're, they're not picking up on it real well and attacking it. So Coach Thomas needed this timeout to straighten that out. Called a 20-second timeout with 13.04 left here in the half. Michael already has four block shots and four points. Also a rebound. Leading scorer is Volichko with six. Tigers have hit six of seven shots from the field. But turnovers have been a factor to keep Fullerton close. It's Fullerton's only shooting four of 12 from the field. They have out-rebounded Pacific so far, though, seven to two. Most of those offensive. Here's Richardson with the basketball now as the Titans have the ball. Richardson dribbles once, terminates. Feeds it to St. Clair, shoots the jumper. It's no good. Offensive foul is called on the Titans before the shot. And it is called on Caldwell. That's a fourth team foul. On Cal State Fullerton, the Tigers have picked up one. And here we'll see how that timeout helped uh, Pacific handle some strategy with respect to getting up the floor in the press. Jacobson feeds it to Michael O. He is uh, over the timeline. Gets it to Corey Andrews. Tigers work it now. 27 seconds on the shot timer. Polichko has it right corner. Top of the circle. Jacobson dribbles once. Gives it to Mahaffey. Wants to post up Michael. Not open. Polichko gets it. Now Michael is open. Right hand hook is an air ball. He was about uh, 10 feet away from the basket. Chris Dade gets the rebound. St. Clair a dribbling, running three-point shot from 21 it's no good offensive board Titans that's Richardson again and he scores from 17 feet on the shot here's the press again it's 16 to 11 and Richardson has been doing a heck of a job on the offensive boards here's Mahaffey dribbling over the uh, midcourt strike to Volichko in the left corner with 23 seconds to work back to Jacobson and Volichko and Jacobson play catch now out, out on the perimeter with 15 seconds to work. Cross-court pass, Anders. Left-hand dribble. Dribble drive into the key. Back out, Jacobson, 24-footer. No good off the back iron. Michael goes up, tips it in! <laughs> Went up and tapped it up and in in the same motion as he was rebounding with the right hand, about two feet away from the bucket. Michael has six, and it's 18-11. to 11. Michael can get up so high. He's got a wingspan of seven feet, two inches. Here's Chris Dade, 18 feet away, feeds it to Richardson. Right side, St. Clair, dribbles around the perimeter, being watched by Jacobson and the half. He under the basket, all alone is Richardson, back door, banks it up and in, he's fouled, the basket counts. And Richardson is causing all kinds of havoc in the game right now. Well, he, he's a very active player, and he, he goes, he's, he's constant motion out on the court. He goes to the offensive boards, his man that time uh, switched off on him, so he went right to the basket. Very smart player. If your man, you know, switches off into another man before the defense can recover, go to the basket. Make yourself available to score. Free throw is no good. Michael gets the, uh, the rebound. So the Titans don't convert, but they've closed it now to 18-13. With 11 minutes and 12 seconds left. Tigers have made a substitution, a couple of them. Substitutions as Scott Thomason is coming. And also Barry Marvel is in the game now for Rain Mahaffey. Post-up pass inside. Michael misses the shot. Good defense by the Titans to try to, uh, the defender between he and the basket. Underneath the basket, Caldwell is alone. Ball is stripped away, loose on the floor. Caldwell can't get on the baseline and turns it over. However, Caldwell for a brief moment was under the basket without a defender near him. Tigers got a break there. 10 minutes, 52 seconds left to go. We have an official timeout, so we'll uh, take a break. Scoreboard shows Pacific 18 and Fullerton 13.
made a strategic move and brought Rain Mahaffey out of the game as Rain was having a difficult time defending Mark Richardson, the 6'7", 215 pounder who had scored eight points in the basketball game. And uh, he brought Barry Marvel in to see what, how Barry can handle him. He also brought Scott Thomason in to bring the ball up the floor because Pacific's had a time with the press. Here's the press again now. And uh, Barry Marvel with the basketball is trapped, feeds it back to Anders, and a 10-second violation. Tigers do not get it over in time. They've turned it over four times against the Cal State Fullerton Press. And so the Titans are staying in the game right now exclusively because of that press. Because they're having a hard time. They're shooting 6 of 15 while the Tigers are hitting in a 63% clip. But uh, turnovers have been a problem. Here's uh, Dane Plock, who has come into the game for the first time tonight for a Titan 6, 170 pounder. As a Plock has the basketball now, spins it to Jarrett, who fires a three point shot, and it's perfect. Kenroy Jarrett, 5'11, 160 pound sophomore from 29 Palms, California, just entered the basketball game after the timeout and just fired a three point shot and made it. Corey Anders under the basket, Barry Marvel's foul on the way up. Corey found Barry going left to right on the baseline. That's going to be team foul number five on Cal State Fullerton and a shooting foul as Barry Marvel gets a chance to shoot two free throws. It's the second personal foul on Matt Caldwell, 6'8", 220 pounder. Barry's first free throw is up and it's good. Fullerton's going to give you a lot of defensive looks. You know, right, you know, early in the game they played man-for-man uh, -man defense. They played zone defense at the half court. They've uh, played a 2-2-1 two, two, zone press, also a man-for-man -man press, so they give you a lot of different looks. Both free throws good. Clay McKnight has now come in. Jacobson is on the bench. So right now, McKnight and Thomason are in the backcourt. See how that combination works. Here is uh, Jarrett, Kenroy Jarrett, who just hit the three. Feeds it to Cunningham. Cunningham is watched by Corey Andrews. Right back to Jarrett, guarded by Thomason, looks for Dane Plock, gets it to Plock. Corey knocks the ball away. Plock goes back and gets it with 15 on the shot timer. Back to Jerry. He's got another open three. Fires it up. It's no good off the back iron. Clay McKnight gets the rebound and is fouled in the backcourt. Or is it McKnight who's guilty of the foul? Wykey Tyson was clapping, and uh, that's exactly the case. Clay McKnight called for the foul. His first personal team's third at the 942 mark. McKnight was fighting for the rebound with Wykey. Wykey's definitely got a size advantage there. So the Titans will inbound baseline right. Ike Harmon comes into the game. Matt Caldwell sits down. And uh, Chris Dade looks to inbound it and does to Dane Block. I beg your pardon. That's Jared inbounding it to Plock. Plock shoots an 18-footer. It kicks out. Michael O goes up, gets the rebound. His fourth. Outlet pass to Thomason. Spins it in the left corner. Down the floor to Anders. Dribbles baseline. And another holding foul. It's been called by Terry Tackett, which is the sixth team foul on the Titans with 9.29. Left to go on the first half. Tigers have three. Civic will inbound, baseline left. Clay McKnight will inbound the basketball. And Dane Plock is guilty of the foul. It comes to Thomas. Bounces it right back to Clay. Feeds it to Scott. Back to Clay. Three-point shot. Good. And McKnight and Thomas have just kept playing catch with the defenders switching off on them. Until one of them was open, and it happened to be McKnight. He fired away from 21. 23-16. Tigers have hit 8 of 12 from the field. Aaron Volichko will come in here in a minute. Corey Anders, Michael Ottawa Candy, and Barry Marvel are inside. Here's a 10-footer that's up and good by Ike Harmon, dribbling on the baseline right. Nice shot by Harmon, who has a range out to about 17 feet, but is a very strong rebounder. 6'7", 190 pounder. Under the basketball is deflected out of bounds by the Titans. It'll be a Pacific basketball. And Ray Mahaffey and Aaron Volichko come back into the game. Michael Ottawa Candy and Corey Anders come out. Ottawa Candy out with six points. Corey Anders with three. Chris Dade now comes into the game for the Titans, averaging 17 and a half a game. He replaces Cunningham. Clay McKnight, baseline left. Inbounds a lob pass to Mahaffey. Back out to Marvel, 8.46 to go on the half. And to Thomason, to McKnight again. Another open three is off the back iron. Doesn't go. And Wykey Tyson goes up over Mahaffey, gets the rebound. Quickly up the floor to Dane Plock. Fakes right, comes left, kicks it back out in the wing for uh, Har Harmon. Ike Harmon now dribbles to 15 feet, loses the ball out of bounds, but it was last touched, deflected by Rain Mahaffey. It'll be a uh, Titan basketball with 8.29 left. 
first half. And Kenroy Jarrett inbounds baseline left. 23 seconds to work. They post up inside Harmon. He wants to go to the hole on Marvel. It's stripped away, and the half he comes up with it. Good defensive job that time by Pacific. 23-18, Tigers lead by five with 8.15 to go. Mahaffey spins it to Belichko. Back to Thomason. Left side, McKnight. Post up inside Mahaffey. Fall away, Rainbow. 12-footer, no. Off the back iron, Wacky Tyson loses the rebound. Out of bounds. It'll be a Tiger ball with 34 seconds on the shot timer as Tyson gets a hand there from uh, Jarrett. And Clay McKnight. Will inbound baseline right. 8.04 to go. New 35 second clock though. Inbound pass to Marvel. Spends it to Thomas. Man to man defense being employed by the Titans right now as Jared is defending Thomas, who gets a screen from Marvel, and Scott is fouled. Harmon came out to double team Scott Thomason with Jared. And I think it was Ike Harmon who's called for uh, his second personal foul and the seventh team foul on Cal State puts Thomason on the line for one and a penalty. And a technical foul is called on Jarrett as he went uh, after Scott Thomason. Very Tackett calling it. And the guilty party is Kenroy Jarrett. I had turned my head for a minute, but I saw Scott Thomason backpedaling. And apparently he got pushed by Jarrett. I think it was uh, sort of an elbow. He saw, I think he threw a sort of an elbow at him. I'm not sure exactly why or what transpired, but I think he uh, tried to catch Scott with an elbow to the face. So first Thomas will shoot one in a penalty. It's the front end of it. He's got a bunch of free throws to shoot here. And his second one is up, and it's no good. Scott right now is shooting in about... 49% on the year. Well, they'll actually have Clay McKnight shooting the technical. And the first one up by McKnight is good. We'll have another one here, and the Tigers will be in possession of the basketball. You know, one of the things that Pacific has to do here, Dave, is, is recognize the defense that, that Fullerton is throwing against them each time down the floor because they're constantly changing their defense and they have to recognize what they're running against and then pass the ball and, and execute well against it. McKnight hits both technical free throws and Pacific is leading 26-18 and in possession of the ball. We'll take a break with seven minutes, 55 seconds left to go first half. It's the Tigers 26 and the Titans 18. they get a chance to extend this lead up to 10. Thomason and McKnight stay in with Mahaffey and Volichko and Barry Marvel. Defensively, Chris Stade comes out to defend Scott Thomason. Also, Dane Plock is in there. Wykey Tyson, Ike Harmon, and St. Clair. Thomason uh, gives up the dribble. Marvel goes out and gets the ball as it was deflected by Chris Dade. Now McKnight has it way out towards the midcourt emblem with 18 seconds on the timer. Feeds it to Thomason. Spins it to Barry Marvel. Marvel dribble drive to 15. Back out Thomason. Three-point shot. No, doesn't go. Tip up and in by Barry Marvel. He went up strong on the left side. Tapped it in off the glass. 
Nice job by Barry. Post up Ike Harmon. Back to the basket. Feeds it to Tyson. Wants to go to the hole. Rises. Shoots. Hits. Little seven-footer. Got penetration in the key, and it's 28-20. Here's the press again as McKnight gets it into Mahaffey, and now McKnight gets it right back from Ray. Tigers will set it up. 26 seconds on that shot timer. This is Dave Rosselli with Dick Fickner. We're in Stockton in the first half. This Division I basketball game between Pacific and Cal State Fullerton. Volichko in the corner right. Dribbles, kicks it to McKnight. Inside Mahaffey. Dribbles. No, Marvel all the way to the hole, and he scores. It was Barry Marvel on the left block. Barry with a little left uh, lift fake, and quickly down the floor, Cal State Fullerton's going to go to the line. Ike Harmon is fouled. But a little lift fake by Barry Marvel on the other end of the floor. He got his defender up in the air, and then he went all the way to the basket and laid it in. And then he, Barry looking very sharp. He's really looking sharp at the offensive end. A couple of very nice individual moves by Barry. Um, but he, he missed he missed the assignment down on the defensive end, and that's why uh, they were able to get, Fullerton was able to, able to get the ball into Harmon, uh, uh, who's Barry's man. He's got to, got to pick up quicker, sooner on, on uh, defense, because Fullerton doesn't waste any time. They're, they're ready to attack the basket as soon as possible. Free throw number one is way off the mark by Ike Harmon who comes in and uh, trying to look for his season average free throw shooting and I can't find it. 49%. 6.41 to go. Tigers lead by 10. 30 to 20. Second one is good. There's no question that the Titans like to push it up the floor quickly off made or missed baskets. Mahaffey feeds it to uh, Jacobson. Adam has just come into the basketball game for Scott Thomason. He and McKnight are in the backcourt. Bolichko has an open three, shoots it. No good. Short off the iron. Dade gets the rebound, comes out running. Now developing three on two to Ike Harmon. All the way to the basket, shoots and scores. A little five-footer. Again, in transition, the Titans get the bucket. 30-23, to 23, Tigers lead. McKnight feeds it cross court. Marvel back out. It comes to Volichko and out of Jacobson, who sets it up as Corey Anders and Michael Ottawa Candy get off the bench, get ready to check in. Marvel has it stripped out of his hands, taken down by uh, St. Clair to Dade, all the way to the hole, and he's fouled by Jacobson. And Chris Dade will get two free throws. You can see how the Titans can get back into a game in a hurry because they force turnovers and they score quickly in transition. A lot of quick-handed uh, players. They they uh, hound the ball. They want to get a piece of it, just like they did that time. They deflect it away, and, and the teammate picks it up, and then they're off to the races. And also, the Titans have done a good job keeping the ball out of Michael Ottawa Candy's hands, although Michael's been on the bench, and he'll get back in there here. Michael with six points and four rebounds. Dade's free throw is around and off. And that is rare, because Dade's an 80% shooter. Here comes Corey Anders for Clay McKnight, and Michael O for Barry Marvel. And Mark Richardson, who gave the Tigers fits early in this game, comes in for Ike Harmon. Richardson has eight points and is the leading scorer for Cal State Fullerton. And it's 30 to 23. Tigers with the lead and 6.01 to go in the first half. Second free throw by Dade is good. And it's a six point Tiger lead, 30 to 24. And here's the press. Lloyd by Cal State Fullerton. Bullets going Corey Anders right now, playing catch. Pass comes to Michael O over the timeline. Tigers have worked that out. They've got five turnovers in the game, and Cal State also with five. Bullets go with the basketball, finds Corey Anders out in the left corner. Dribble drive for Corey. He tried to uh, feed it to Michael on the opposite block. Michael wasn't expecting it and went sailing out of bounds. Oh, I thought Corey might go all the way to the basket. Then he pulled up on the left block, bounced it in the right side to Michael O, who wasn't expecting it. 5.35 and counting. Tiger lead is six. 20-second timeout is called by Cal State Fullerton. Apparently, an injured player, I think. Yeah, Chris Dade. He was not expected to get a significant amount of playing time. He's got uh, those wisdom teeth that have been bothering him. And he might just be out of breath. He asked Terry Tackett for a uh, quick 20-second timeout. Titans will have it with 26 on the shot timer. 5.32 in the half. Mark Richardson spins the basketball to St. Clair. Post up inside, going to the hole is Whitehead. Right hand hook doesn't go. Gets his own rebound on the baseline right. It's taken away by Jacobson. Now he's trapped, and he feeds it out to Corey Anders. Here's a three-on-two developing. Corey stops. Post up inside, Michael O. Turns, shoots, no good off the rim. 
Rebound loose on the floor, taken down by Richardson. Here come the Titans again. Pushing it up the floor, St. Clair left-hand dribble, stop on a dime, three-point shot is no good. It's an air ball out of bounds. St. Clair stopped and fired away off the dribble. And it wasn't even close. 5.02 left, Tiger basketball in a six-point lead. Well, let's go up to Michael. And Michael feeds it to Corey Anders. Tigers will set it up. Corey with 25 points on Thursday against UC Irvine. Here's Rain Mahaffey, receives a high post pass, hands it right back to Jacobson, right back to Mahaffey now. Top of the arc, inside post up, Michael turns. No good, a foul though. That's the ninth team foul on Cal State Fullerton. They call it on Wykey Tyson. Michael's going to get one and a penalty. Five team fouls on Pacific, 4.43 left in the half. First personal on Wykey. Tigers are shooting 52%. They've hit 10 of 19 shots. Titans have hit 41%, 10 of 24. Each team has turned it over six times. First free throw is no good by Michael, but Adam Jacobson gets the uh, carom, feeds it right back to Michael, and he's fouled again. On the way to the basket, Michael this time will have two free throws because that is the 10th team foul on Cal State Fullerton. Adam Jacobson got the carom, fed it to Mahaffey for a brief moment, and then Rain got it right back to Michael who was fouled on the way up. It is St. Clair. That's his second personal foul. The Titans are leading in the rebounding department, though, 15 to 10. Michael has four. Corey Anders does not have a rebound yet. First free throw is good. Corey did get a, the first touch on that when he went up and tapped it to uh, Adam, and then Adam got the ball to Mahaffey and, and fed it inside to Michael. The second free throw pops out. And it will be a Titan basketball as it goes out of bounds. 31-24, Tigers with the advantage. 4.37 left, first half. Tigers have Jake, Velichko, Corey Anders, Michael O, and Rain Mahaffey in the game. St. Clair bounces a pass to Whitehead, facing the basket 20 feet away. Spins it right side to St. Clair, back to Whitehead, looks for Richardson, who has it now. Richardson uh, hollering out instructions to his team. Posts up inside, intended for Tyson. It's taken away by Michael, who stepped in the passing lane. Picked it off, turnover number seven for Cal State, 4.10 to go. Anders left side angle, 25 feet away from the basket. Caldwell gets ready to check in for Cal State. Jake dribbles right side into the key. Looks to post up, no. Goes outside, uh, will it go inside Michael? Shot up, no. Wayne Mahaffey gets the offensive board. And it's stripped away and out of bounds. It'll be a Tiger ball. It was stripped out by Cunningham. Mahaffey did a good job out of position to come up with that offensive board. They have an official timeout. We'll take a break with 3.51 left. Scoreboard shows Pacific 31 and Cal State Fullerton 24. Second, baby, there's something I've got to say to you. I love the way you love me all over and over and over. Baby, I'm Tiger ball with 348 and counting first half. Next up for Pacific will be the University of Idaho who is leading right now. Utah State 48-46 in Logan. Here's Jacobson, dribbles a couple of times, feeds it to Mahaffey. Mahaffey looks to post up Michael, he's fronted back to Jake, 15 on the timer. 
Jake gives up the dribble. Now to uh, Volichko. Back to Jake. Left side. Corey Anders. Ten on the timer. Right back to Jacobson. Inside to 18 feet to Volichko for a three on the way. And it's in and out. Michael goes up for the rebound. Is hammered. And he's going to get a couple more free throws. Michael was hammered as he went up for that board. They call that foul again on uh, Whitehead. Fullerton went into the penalty situation at the 9.49 mark. Tigers have had a chance to shoot 12, let's see, take that back, nine free throws and they've made six. Well, Michael O gets to the free throw line. North Texas and Cal Poly just getting underway. Cal Poly leads eight to five. And Santa Barbara is blanking New Mexico State seven to nothing. It's your first half scores. But Idaho playing a heck of a game up in Logan. First free throw by Michael is in and out. Michael comes into the game averaging 20.3 per basketball game, 10 and a half rebounds. Barry Marvel comes in for Rain Mahaffey. And Michael's free, uh, field goal percentage has cooled off just a little bit. He's at 64%. Second free throw is no good. Well, Michael is one for five from the free throw line tonight, 31-24. And the Titans are in possession as St. Clair has the basketball on the wing right. Watched by Corey Anders, Tigers playing a man-to-man -man defense. Left side, Whitehead, ball is dribbled out of bounds. Whitehead just simply lost it. Good defense by Jacobson, though. Whitehead wanted to go to the basket left baseline, and the ball spun out of his hands. 3-0-3 to go, first half. Barry Marvel with the basketball, still out over the midcourt strike. Tigers are being pressed. Corey Anders feeds it to Jacobson. Jacobson now is being trapped, and now they back off. Jake left-hand dribble, 23 seconds to work. Jake comes to the right, gets a screen for Marvel, and shoots a 24-footer that's no good, and I believe that time Michael pushed off fighting for the rebound. That'll be Michael's first personal foul, and they'll shoot free throws. Let's see, is that the sixth or seventh? That's a six-team foul on Pacific. So they actually had one to give without a penalty at the 246 mark. It'll be a Titan basketball. Michael knew it, jumped up and down a couple of times. He's averaging uh, only about two personal fouls a game. Here's a pass inside. There's Richardson, goes up and scores on Barry Marvel. And Mark Richardson has 10 points. He's gotten into double figures. All of those baskets coming inside, although he's got a range out to about 17 feet. They've been able to post him up on both Marvel and Rain Mahaffey. Here's Corey Anders in the right wing, 21 seconds to work. Jake now backs away. 2-12 in the first half. 16 seconds on the timer. Marvel has it right wing. Watch by Richardson, dribbles once, posts up out of a candy. Back out Jacobson, dribbles to 15 feet, back out Marvel. Marvel and Volichko now uh, playing catch. Marvel scores, but travels first from 15 feet. That time, the Tigers, neither uh, Marvel or Volichko or Jacobson seemed like they wanted to shoot. Yeah, they were. They, they each passed up a good shot, and uh, I think they, you know, are still looking for Michael inside. But you, you got to take what the defense gives to you. Michael's being surrounded right now, so you, you got to step up and take that 17-foot jump shot. Tigers lead by five, 31-26, 146 to go. First half, Cunningham with the basketball, not a Dade, who's back in there. Dade penetrates, dribble drive, runs over Corey Anders for a charge. Corey took it hard. Both feet planted at 10 feet, and Dade ran right over. That's turnover. Uh, well, it's technically a charging violation, but the uh, Titans have turned it over nine times to Pacific 7. 138 left to go in the first half. Marvel in the backcourt to Valichko, and Michael gets the pass over the timeline. Michael feeds it right back to Barry Marvel, who hands it to Valichko. Stop on a dime, 10 footer, pops out. And Richardson goes up for the rebound, and a foul is called on the Tigers. And that's going to be the seventh team foul, and they'll shoot free throws on the other end of the floor. Richardson was down there fighting for it. Cunningham was there. It was loose for a moment, so there was a scramble after it. And they called the Tigers for the loose ball foul. In fact, they called Barry Marvel. Here comes Clay McKnight now in for Volichko, and Rain Mahaffey is going to come in for Barry Marvel. Dave, the last four or five minutes of this half is what you call ugly basketball. 
and there, that's why Cal State Fullerton wants to play. This is ugly basketball. Neither team is executing very well or hitting their shots, and that, uh, that's the way Cal State Fullerton likes to play. First free throw is good. They're sending uh, Matt Caldwell to the free throw line. Guy's averaging four points a game. He's a 51% shooter. As a team, Cal State Fullerton is hitting only 60% of their free throws. Second one is no good. Michael steals the rebound array from Richardson. Uh, they try to trap Michael, but uh, he has no difficulty just lobbing the pass over the two defenders. Tigers now get it up to McKnight. He's got some problems as Corey Anders is going to get called for a 10-second violation. Tigers didn't get it over in time. 31-27. It'll be a Titan basketball. That's the uh, eighth turnover for Pacific. Most of them against the press. Not a terrible figure in terms of uh, turnovers for the first half, but uh, it's been a direct result of Cal State's pressure. 31-27 as the Titans now try to close the gap with 55 seconds to go. Caldwell misses the shot from about uh, 10 feet on the left baseline. And the rebound comes down to Anders. Anders outlets it to Jake over the timeline. Jake is watched by St. Clair. Dribbles on uh, St. Clair, feeds it to McKnight with 23 seconds to work. Now to Mahaffey, who comes out high. Back to Jacobson, who's fouled by St. Clair. That was not a good foul by Chris St. Clair, putting Jacobson on the free throw line for two shots with 37.3 to play first half. And the third personal foul on St. Clair. Ooh, that's a bad foul. That's a real bad foul. Third foul, third, uh, foul against him with 37 seconds to go. And two. First free throw is good by Jacobson. Well, Utah State has now come back. They lead 61 to 60. They're late in the second half of that game. St. Clair sits down, and uh, Kenroy Jarrett comes in. He gets a chorus of boos as he was the guy guilty of a technical foul, elbowing Scott Thomason earlier in this first half. Both free throws good by Jake, 33-27. Tigers lead with 37.3 to go. Cal Poly leads North Texas, 37-31. That's in the first half. Santa Barbara leading New Mexico State, 20-18 first half score. Irvine uh, trailing Long Beach, 8-7 in the first half. And Boise State leading Nevada, 7-5. That is a first half score. Kenroy Jarrett will wait for the sh clock to uh, wind down. He's got 21 on the shot timer and 23 and a half. So he'll have to take a shot before the end of the first half and leave a couple of seconds left. Jared is way out of the midcourt emblem, waiting for the shot clock to go down to eight seconds, and there it is. And now he pursues the basket. Dribble drive on Corey Anders, right wing, pulls up, feeds it back out for a three-point shot by Ike Harmon. That is no good. And that's going to be the end of the first half, although the scoreboard reads 0.1 seconds left to go. So I think they're going to make... Uh, they're going to make Pacific inbound the basketball. The shot clock ran out, but there was time left in the half. There was about a two-second difference, and right now the scoreboard says 0 0.1, but I think they're going to add. They're going to add about a second, maybe two, because as I had pointed out, there was about a two-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. That's what Terry Tackett is discussing uh, discussing uh, this situation over with the official score about. The Tigers are going to get the ball. Ike Harmon had the open three-point shot and missed it. Cal State Fullerton hitting just uh, three of seven. No, two, uh, what is that? Yeah, three of seven from the outside. Make that two of six. 33-27 is the score. Pacific will inbound from the baseline left. Oh, they say that it went out of bounds off the Tigers. I beg your pardon. It'll be a Fullerton uh, basketball. And they, do, they don't add any time on the clock, so it's going to have to be a tap at the basket. That's about all they can do is tap the ball at the basket, which is what they try, and they don't uh, succeed. So... Uh, the attempt under the basket on the baseline left for Fullerton uh, is fruitless. But it does throw some confusion on the floor for a moment. And at the intermission, it's 33-27. Tony Mercopoulos in the scouting report says that 
the Titans like to play ugly basketball. For a time, it was ugly basketball. Yeah, well, we didn't. Uh, we contributed to the ugly basketball. <laughs> uh, defensively, you know, just no energy at all. Uh, looks like we're trying to coast through the game. Uh, really upset with. Uh, with the way that we uh, play defensively. You know, offensively, uh, again, concerned there too. We haven't moved the ball. We haven't been patient at all. Uh, and the you know, press. We, yeah, the press has is, is caused a lot of turnovers. The offensive rebounding, uh, we haven't blocked people out. We've just played poorly all around. And uh, we're very, very fortunate to be ahead right now. Uh, we've got to play better at all ends, all facets of the game. The, you know, we need to block people out. Again, you know, just all the things I've already mentioned, we need to do much better at the press, obviously probably accounts for what three four or five turnovers already it's uh, us attacking the press has uh, and them changing defenses after uh, each time they pressed has uh, had them control the tempo of the game and had us been a little passive and we're not being patient where everybody's trying to you know hit a home run so to speak in one play and try to make an eight point play in one play and be more patient and uh, you know understand that they're going to try to control the tempo of the game and we still just need to do what we what we do and do it well and get the ball inside and we get open looks take them and then defensively crank up the energy a little bit more and get after the ball and rebound and take away the things we want to take away and, and i think we'll be okay but if we can't do that this thing's going to go right down to the wire again one guy that uh, has given you problems is mark richardson he scored 10 points but he's, he's having been a, a career guy. night yeah he's been and we're inside. making him all league right now well, he's getting the offensive rebounds yeah, we have done a poor job of blocking him out you're absolutely right and we need to do a much better job with him and and uh, you know they're, they're doing a nice job coach hawking's a good coach He's got a, clearly has a game plan, and they're, they're trying to execute that. They're trying to control the tempo of the game and keep us off balance and keep us confused on offense. And, you know, defensively, they run a lot of, offensively, they run a lot of different things, which I think we're prepared for. We just don't have the kind of energy and enthusiasm that we need to, to really dominate defensively. It hasn't been poor, but it just hasn't been to the standard that I'd like to have us play. With the exception of the first two minutes of the basketball game, where you came out strong. Yeah, we came out, hit some shots, and uh, defensively had a little more energy, and they just kind of tailed off as they started to press, and we didn't execute very well against it, and we're in the wrong places, had some breakdowns, and, uh, you know, from that time on, they've kind of just battled their way back in. And if you look at the scouting report there, they're going to hang in, they're going to battle. They've won, I think, three road games already, and uh, lost two home games, which is probably a surprise for them, a shock to them, so they've had their back to the wall coming onto this road trip. They had a nice win against Long Beach, and of course they're trying to squeak this one out, and right now we're kind of letting them do it. All right, we'll let you get in the locker room. 33-27 at the intermission. We will come back and look at the numbers and recap this first half. At the break, it is the Tigers 33 and Cal State Fullerton 27. Make it 20, dribbles to 18, hits the jumper. Aaron Volitsko moving in a little bit as he had a lane on the right side in the wing, and it's 35-27. Pacific comes out with Jacobson, Anders, Volitsko, Mahaffey, and Michael O. And for Cal State Fullerton, St. Clair, Richardson had a big half, 10 points. Whitehead inside to Wykey Tyson, who throws up a right-hand hook and scores, and Cunningham is in the backcourt. So both teams exchange buckets through the first 45 seconds of this half, and here's the press, which bothered Pacific in the first half. Mahaffey throws the ball up to uh, Jacobson, who dribbles drives to the left baseline, feeds it to Michael, and Michael stops it. See, they attacked the press that time. They, before the first half, they were just satisfied about getting the ball across the 10-second line. That time, they attacked the basket against the press, and they got to do more of that. 37-29, Tigers lead. Michael has nine. That was a big stuff. Post up inside Wykey Tyson, and they call Michael for the foul. As Tyson did a little juke move and a lift fake, got Michael up into the air. Michael's done a pretty good job staying down this year, but that time he got caught up in the air and came back down on Wykey. Tyson will get a couple of free throws. That's a first team foul of the half. Second personal, uh, although the scoreboard says it's Corey Anders. I beg your pardon, they're gonna call that on Corey. Well, Michael was the one defending Wykey Tyson. Free throw is no good, first one. I didn't think anybody else was in the area, to be honest with you. I don't know how Corey got that one. And there was just Michael and, and his man in the area. 
Michael did get caught up into the air that time, but apparently he didn't get called for the foul. Both free throws pop out. 37-29. Tigers lead here by uh, eight points. Jacobson dribbles around the horn. To Mahaffey, post up inside Michael. He's fouled and the basket counts as he scores from 10 feet. He was pushed, literally pushed, underneath the basket by Wacky Tyson. That shows Michael's strength. You know, Michael uh, is not only 7-1 and, and runs and jumps well, but he's really strong, particularly in the upper body. And Tyson just gave him a vicious push inside, and Michael never budged. He just went up and made the basket, and now he's going to, you know, attempt to make the three-point play here. Caldwell has two fouls. Fullerton picks up its first. And Michael with a chance to convert. Wacky Tyson comes out of the game, and Matt Caldwell in to replace him, and Michael scores. Three-point play, and he's got 12 in the game and six rebounds. Tigers are back up to 50% for the game, 13 of 26. 18-24 to go. Tiger lead now is 11. Here's St. Clair whipping it to Whitehead in the wing. Watch by Volichko, man-to-man -man defense. 20 seconds on the timer. Now Richardson has it to St. Clair, right side, back door, Cunningham, and he's fouled on the way to the basket. Shot did not go down, but Terry Tackett calls Pacific for its second team foul, and the personal is on Aaron Volichko. Poor defensive vision by Pacific that time. Two or three players had an opportunity to, to slide over and get in better defensive position, and because they turned their head and didn't know where the ball was, they were out of position. Got to, got to know the position of the ball and your man at all times. Cunningham's first free throw is good. He'll have two. 59% free throw shooter. And for the game, he has four points and also three rebounds. It comes in averaging 4.9 a game. Second shot is up and it is off the back iron. Doesn't go. There's Richardson again for another offensive rebound. Inside it goes to Cunningham. He goes up and he scores. So they turn it into a three-point sequence. 40 to 32. Those offensive boards have been murdered on Pacific thus far tonight. Here's Corey Anders with the press in the backcourt. He's trapped and has to call a timeout. A 20-second timeout. Otherwise, Corey Anders was in big trouble. Now there's 29 seconds on the shot timer, 17.55 in the game. Tigers have been able to maintain the lead through this one, just that the Titans have been able to hang close. Yeah, and, and, the, and the press, as, as was well is, illustrated right there, is still a mystery for Pacific. And it's a 2-2-1 it's a zone press, but they're, they're uh, looking for an opportunity to double-team the ball. And Pacific has to get someone in the middle of the court where they can pass the ball to the middle. Against a 2-2-1 two, two, zone, the middle is the open area. The other thing they can do is reverse the ball real quickly and, and bring the ball up the weak side. But they have to move and they have to attack it uh, quickly and aggressively. Inbound pass comes to Jacobson. Tigers try to uh, spread everybody out. Volichko has the ball, feeds it. It's knocked away. Mahaffey gets it. Throws cross court. Nearly picked by St. Clair, but Jacobson does get it. Goes left side for an open shot for Corey Anders. It's no good off the iron. Ad Caldwell gets the rebound on the right baseline. Up the floor to St. Clair. Goes cross court. It's deflected. Hits the backboard. Comes down to Michael O, who outlets to Jacobson. Running up the floor to Volichko. Back to Jake. To Mahaffey. Open three-point shot. Top of the arc is good. That's Rain's favorite spot on the court. Top of the key, three-point shot. Mahaffey has six. Tigers lead by 11 again, 43-32 with 17-10 left to go. Whitehead with the basketball, feeds it left St. Clair. Spinning three-point shot, kicks off the rim, no good. Mahaffey with good defensive position, pushes Richardson out of the way. Corey Anders gets the loose rebound. Goes cross court to Volitsko, back to Mahaffey. Another three, top of the key. Good again. Mahaffey hits two straight. He's got nine. Three for four from the outside. 20-second timeout called by Bob Hawking, and the Tigers now lead by 14. 46 to 32. That, that, those are good shots from the outside, Dave, because they're part of your offense. Uh, it's called their, uh, you know, their quick offense off the break. They're, they're bringing the ball down quickly, and Reigns at what they call the trailer, and he goes right to the top of the key, and as the Fullerton players run back and defend the basket, they're hoping that Rain will be open just like he was those two times from the top of the key. Now, as Fullerton adjusts and picks up Rain, that's when they have Pacific has to be smart and then move the ball and try to get it inside. So, you, again, you take what the defense gives you. 
Corey Anders has, uh, by virtue of his 25 points against UC Irvine, has moved into double figures in average each game, 10 and a half. Michael with 20.3. Rain Mahaffey is slowly climbing. He's at 7.7. .7. And Jacobson at 11.9. So three Tigers averaging a double digits. Last year there were four. Here's Chris Dade who's coming to the game. Posts up inside. Richardson goes up. Shot rolls around and in. Mark Richardson inside now with 12 points. 46-34. Here's the press. Volichko. Anders comes up to Mahaffey. Mahaffey bounces it to Jacobson. Jacobson will set it up now. Jake about 27 feet away from the basket. St. Clair is watching him. 23 seconds to work. Mahaffey posts up inside. Michael, he's fouled on the way out. Missed the shot. Was fouled by Caldwell. Had a good look at the basket. That's exactly what you were mentioning, Dick. Yes, exactly. They came out, and as they extend their defense, then you go inside quickly to Michael. Excellent execution. And Fullerton's uh, strategy, of course, is when Michael does get the ball inside to foul him. And uh, they're going to make Michael earn his points tonight at the free throw line. And the first one is good. Michael has 13 points, six rebounds. Here comes Ike Harmon back into the game for Fullerton. Harmon, 6'7", 190. He replaces Richardson. Richardson at 6'7", 215. Tigers have Jacobson, Anders, Volichko, Mahaffey, and Michael O. Second shot doesn't go down. Michael fights for the rebound, but St. Clair comes up with it. 47-34. Pacific lead is 13 points. Here is... Uh, Cunningham shoots a little free throw jumper and it pops in and out. And a loose ball foul. It's going to be called on Pacific, I believe. This one is... I don't know if it's on Rain or not. Might be on Rain Mahaffey. It'll be the third team foul on Pacific at the 15-59 mark. And we have a whistle and an official timeout. It's Rain Mahaffey's first personal foul. With 15-59 left, scoreboard shows Pacific 47 and Fullerton 34. Ford. She uh, shot the basketball from midcourt and got it halfway there. Couldn't decide how she wanted to throw it up. Underhand, catapulting it from the with the right arm. It didn't go down. Here's Chris Dade penetrating right baseline, goes up, scores. Off glass. And it's 47-36 after the timeout. The Titans are on the uh, full court press again. Here's Volichko dribbling, feeding it up to Mahaffey. Mahaffey dribbles baseline left, pulls up as the defense comes back to get him. And the Tigers set it up now. Anders, Volichko, Jacobson, Mahaffey, Michael O in the game. Mahaffey has it. Anders now back it on top. Jacobson, lift fake at 23. Had the shot there for a minute, but didn't take it. Jake again having a rough night offensively. Just 0 for 2, 2 points. Left-hand dribble for Jacobson, pulls up at 18, feeds it in the corner to Corey Anders. Dribble drive, pull up, 10-footer, good! Corey Anders with a double clutch shot of the baseline left, 49-36. The penetration helped as Corey, for a moment, looked as though he was going to go to the basket. Now he has five points. Tigers lead by 13 again. Underneath the basket, there's a reverse layup that's missed by St. Clair. Cunningham goes out and gets the offensive board to Chris Dade. Inside, intended for Ike Harmon. It's punched out by Mahaffey. It'll be a Fullerton basketball with 31 on the shot timer. 14.50 left in the game. Pacific leads 49.36. St. Clair will inbound just in front of the Fullerton bench. He feeds it to Dade. Double clutch. Layup doesn't go. Michael goes up, gets the rebound. He's seven. 
Outlet pass to Jacobson. Jacobson up the floor. Pushes it in the corner to Volichko. Lift fake at the three-point mark. And now he's open from three, and the shot is good. He fed it to Jacobson, and Jake came right back to Aaron. And Volichko has 11. He's hit three out there tonight. He's got four for seven total from the field. He hit an 18-footer as well. Dade penetrates to 15 on a dribble drive. Kicks it back to Harmon. Gives up the dribble now. Harmon right back to Dade. Watched by Corey Anders with 22 seconds to work. Bounce pass St. Clair on the baseline right. Spins, whirls, triple team. Goes opposite block to Cunningham, and Cunningham lays it in. 52-38. Fullerton has uh, been able to get inside. But they still trail here by 14 points. Here's Corey Anders now. As his defender falls down. Feeds it to Jacobson for a three. That's good, and he's fouled out there. Chance for a four-point play for Adam Jacobson. 55-38. Now, Pacific's doing a great job, again, of moving the ball on the perimeter, and, of course, they're hitting their, their three-point shots. Um, they're, not, they're not, however, really reacting to the ball defensively. Uh, they're not they're not alert as far as getting offensive rebounds. They they seem like they're just a step slow tonight on the defensive end, and that's where they really have to pick it up this this second half. In spite of it, though, they're trying to extend the lead now to 18 points, and they do it. 56-38, 13-54 to go. Jarrett is back in the game. Kenroy Jarrett. There's the echo of booze from this crowd as Jarrett was called for a technical foul in the first half, his aggressive play. Dade shoots and hits off the dribble, a three-point shot. He just backed away from his defender in the left wing at 20 feet and canned it, 56-41. Chris Dade is the leading scorer on the team. Whistle and a foul, uh, well, there's something that is going to cause the uh, official Terry Tackett to stop play. With uh, 31 seconds illuminating on the shot clock and 13-32 uh, in the half. Stopped play after four seconds. Came over and uh, now has Aaron Volichko inbounding the ball in front of the uh, Fullerton bench. And I don't know why he stopped play. Volichko lobs the uh, pass over the timeline to Barry Marvel. Inside Corey Anders. Hands it off to Mahaffey who scores off glass. As the Tigers now look like they're attacking the basket offensively. Much more aggressively. Barry Marvel is in the game. And Michael Ottawa-Candy is resting with 13 points. Here's Ike Harmon, dribble drive in the key, knocked away, throws up a right-hand hook, it doesn't go, Caldwell gets the offensive rebound and is fouled before the shot. His team foul number four. Coach Thomas is just absolutely going berserk. Uh, he just cannot believe how many offensive rebounds Fullerton is getting. You know, they, they shoot the ball, and the Tigers are playing, you know, pretty decent defense that time, and they, they force up a bad shot by Fullerton, but there's Caldwell to get the offensive rebound, and... You know, it's still, you, you shoot a bad shot and get the rebound and, and put it back in. That's still one for two and a good percentage of 50%. Michael Alawakandi comes back in. Clay McKnight also in as Ray Mahaffey and Corey Anders sit down. It'll be a Fullerton uh, basketball baseline left on the fourth team foul and the third personal foul on Corey Anders. Caldwell gets the inbound pass, feeds it out to Cunningham with a new 35-second clock. Spins it to Kenroy Jarrett. Jarrett will hear from this crowd for the rest of the night. Now to Dave, back to Jarrett. Jarrett spins it to Cunningham in the wing right. Bounce pass to Dade. Shoots a three from downtown. It's no good off the back iron. Offensive rebound, though, by Fullerton. It's loose on the floor. Pacific gets it, though, to Jacobson. Jacobson to Michael. Michael is fouled on the way up. Michael was going to stuff the basketball, and he was fouled hard from the back. That was a good foul. However, Caldwell was called for the foul, and it, it's his fifth. Matt Caldwell fouls out of the game. The fourth team foul on Fullerton in this half of the 12-39 mark. And uh, Corey Sanders was going to come in now at 6'11", 210 pounds, a freshman from Lansing, Michigan. So some size, but uh, no experience. And again, you know, um, Fullerton's strategy is very obvious. They're, you know, they're just not going to give Michael any dunks or anything easy. Uh, they're going to foul him, foul him hard enough that he can't make the shot and make him murder his points at the free throw line. Said it was a good foul uh, from the standpoint of preventing Michael from an easy bucket. That's true, but it also got Caldwell out of the game, and that's not good. 
Dade comes out, Chris Dade, and into the game is Dane Plock at 6'1", 170. Dade, the leading scorer, will get a breather. Michael misses the first free throw. It's 58-41. His second free throw is no good. It's the front iron. So Michael misses both. Attendance tonight, 4,711. Kenroy Jarrett sets it up as Fullerton tries to keep pace with Pacific, but they trail here by 17 points. Jarrett feeds it left side to Cunningham. Back to Jarrett. Now the crowd's having fun booing Jarrett. Inside, Harmon goes all the way to the hole and scores on Aaron Volushko. Right down the center of the key. It's 58-43. Here's the press up the floor. Marvel has it over the timeline, hands it right back to Jacob. The Tigers have figured out that story. They've done a good job handling the press here in the second half. 11.59 and counting. Pacific leads by 15 points. Volichko, Jacobson, back to Marvel. Top of the circles, left side. Aaron Volichko in the corner, post up inside. Michaels, and it rolls around and in. Off the glass as he was on the left block, and he banked it in. Michael has 15 points. 60 to 43, Tiger leads 17. Kenroy Jarrett to Cunningham in the left corner. Watched by Clay McKnight. McKnight and Jacobson are in the backcourt. Whistle and a 20-second timeout. Called by Bob Hawking. So we'll keep it here. With 11.33 left to go. And Pacific in command of the game, 60 to 43. Yeah, they're doing a, a real good job, Dave, of, of moving the ball on offensively. They're getting the ball inside to Michael, just as they did the last time down. Michael went up a little quicker that time before the, the defensive man could get over to foul him. Michael was already up and in the air and, and uh, scoring the basket. But uh, Pacific has the, the outside shot when they want it. They really don't have to take it too early now. They have a nice, comfortable lead. They don't have to be just satisfied with the outside shot. And now they have to D up on defense because the only way Fullerton can, can get back into this game is to score. And Pacific has to uh, make sure they don't do that. And uh, the Titans are in possession of the ball now with 21 seconds on the timer after that 20-second timeout. Kenroy Jarrett has the ball, throws it away. It's taken by McKnight, or Jacobson. He was throwing it across, across court. Jake brings it into the forecourt now on the wing right, hands it off to Clay McKnight, back to Jacobson. Jacobson's trapped. Now to Marvel, left side Volichko. Volichko to McKnight, McKnight to Jacobson, right side Marvel. Marvel comes to McKnight in the wing left. Clay tries to get it inside to uh, Aloha Candy. He's defended and double teamed. They go to McKnight for a three outside, and it's good. Well, they worked it around the perimeter until they found the open man. And it is a 20-point Tiger lead, 63-43 with 10.49 left to go. Here's Dane Plot. Spins it right. Lift fake by Jarrett. He was open out at uh, 21 feet. Didn't take the shot. Cunningham has it now. Dribble drive. Knocked away by Volichko, who comes up with the basketball. Falls down hard. Feeds it back to Jake, and the Tigers get it. Turnover number 12 on Cal State Fullerton with 10.30 to go. Left corner, McKnight. Lift fake at 20. Doesn't take the shot. Comes back out to Jacobson. Jacobson post up Michael. Goes to the basket and scores. He slithered his way through two defenders, Ike Harmon. And the freshman, Corey Sanders. Michael is really working hard inside, and because he's working so hard, he's drawing three, sometimes four, Fullerton defenders to him. And uh, he's, really, he's really active inside, and because of that, a lot of UOP players are open offensively right now. And a timeout called by the Titans. We'll take a break with 10 minutes, 12 seconds left to go. It's Pacific 65, and Fullerton 43.
Doing a lot better job this second half, Dave. Dane Plock to Sanders, freshman with a basketball, way out on top in the left corner to St. Clair. Post up inside Harmon, feed it back to Sanders, and he's fouled on the way up by Rain Mahaffey. That basket inside again, and Rain picks up his second, team's fifth. Utah State wins another close one. They beat Idaho at home 68-66. They have won their share of close games. They're now 6-0 in the uh, Big West Eastern Division. Free throw number one by Sanders is good. Corey Sanders, 6'11", 210 pound freshman. Cal Poly is leading North Texas 67-66, but they've got some time left in that one. Second free throw is no good. And a loose ball fouls called on Rain Mahaffey again. So he's picked up two fouls on this sequence. That'll be an inbound uh, arrangement for the Titans baseline left. Sixth team foul. St. Clair will inbound. It comes out and he whips the pass to uh, Chris Dade. Back to Dane Plock. Dade, Plock, St. Clair inside Harmon. Shot up. That was partially deflected by Michael who goes up and gets the rebound. He may get a uh, block on that. And a rebound. Outlet to Jacobson. That's 10 rebounds. Uh, bigger pardon. Eight rebounds for Michael. Post up inside. Michael, he's on the baseline left. Kicks it back out to Jacobson. Jacobson dribble drive. Feeds it left corner to uh, Corey Anders, who loses the basketball out of bounds as he was dribble driving on the left baseline. Corey dropped it on the line. 9.26 to go. Tigers lead by 21. 65 to 44. Here's Sanders looking in the corner left to Dade. Dribble drive baseline, cut off. He is double teamed by Mahaffey and Michael Alawakandi. And he gives it off instead to Harmon, who doesn't make the shot. Tip up by Harmon, no. Dade gets the rebound, slithers his way up for a shot. That's not good. Dade goes back and gets the rebound again and is fouled, I believe. I don't know what they're calling giving the basketball to Cal State Fullerton. Dade ended up out of bounds. It's not a foul. I don't know what it could possibly be. Well, it's either a foul on McKnight or it's UOP ball. It can't be Fullerton's ball, and that's who they're awarding it to. Dade ended up falling down out of bounds, and I thought he was pushed out by McKnight. We heard a whistle, but they didn't call a foul on McKnight, but they're awarding the ball to the Titans baseline left. Jacobson comes out of the game. Mahaffey comes out. Thomason is in there. Also, uh, Marvel is in the game with Andrews, Ottawa Candy. Inbound pass now as Dade has the ball on his right hip, 25 feet away from the basket. Feeds it to uh, St. Clair, ball knocked away by those quick hands of Corey Andrews. Pass from St. Clair to Dade in the left corner, back to St. Clair, watched by Clay McKnight. St. Clair shoots off the dribble, it's no good, a three-pointer. Barry Marvel goes up, gets the rebound on the baseline right. Outlet pass to Scott Thomason, who played four minutes in the first half. 8.30 to go in the game here, and it's 65-44. Tigers are in command. And really not showing any signs of falter. There's Thomason, left side, Anders, back to Scott. Scooter bounces a pass to Barry Marvel, who dribbles to 18 feet, watched by Dane Plock, around the horn, right side for a three-point shot that's good by Clay McKnight. And McKnight now has... Uh, Hit his third of the night from outside. Ball is lost out of bounds by Chris Dade in the wing left. It'll be a Tiger basketball turnover number 13. McKnight has 11 points. Four Tigers are in double figures. McKnight is one of them. McKnight hands the ball off to Thomason with 7.53 left to go. Scott posts up inside. Michael right hand hook doesn't go. Sanders gets the rebound. His outlet pass comes out to Dade into the forecourt with 7.44 left. Michael has 17 points, 8 rebounds. Just 3 of 10 from the free throw line tonight for Michael. He's 7 of 12 from the field and 3 other Tigers with 11 points. There's a 3-point shot that's good by Dane Plock. Out at 21 feet. 68-47. Tigers lead. Thomason feeds it in the left corner. Marvel back out to McKnight. And McKnight to Thomas. Thomason is the point. McKnight's the uh, off guard. Corey Anders at the small forward with uh, Barry Marvel at the power forward and Michael O at center. Barry has the basketball now, high post, dribbles a couple of times, feeds it to inside, intended for Michael, it's picked off by Plock. Baseball pass to Dade, to Ike Harmon, and Ike Harmon stuffs it going from right to left. Thomason wants a timeout. 
68-49, so the Titans close it to 19 points, to, and uh, Coach Thomason wants a 20-second timeout. Well, the, the Tigers got a little careless uh, offensively. They, uh, they got the ball deflected a couple times, uh, and also that last time particularly, everybody's got to hustle back, just not the guards. When there's a turnover like that, everybody's got to hustle back and defend the basket. And I don't think Coach Thomason liked the way his team reacted as far as getting back on defense that time. New Mexico State is leading Santa Barbara 37-36. They've got 7.05 left to go in that one. UC Irvine is on top of Long Beach State at the beach, 30-29. to They're at the half. And Nevada is hammering Boise State at home, 43-22. That also at the intermission. Here's a full court press by uh, Cal State Fullerton. Thomason feeds it to McKnight, up the floor to Marvel, back to Thomason. Thomason gives up the dribble. He's trapped and fouled. Fouled this time by Corey Sanders. That's the 16th foul on the Titans, so the Tigers will uh, inbound in front of the official scorer's table. Now we're going to have an official timeout, so a chance to take a break. With 6.47 left, Tigers are in command. Scoreboard shows Pacific 68, Fullerton 49. I don't think we win this kind of a game on the road. I don't know, we're killing them, but it just doesn't seem like we're playing. Silver Legacy Resort at the special tournament right to reserve your room. Tiger basketball, Barry Marvel, 18 feet away to McKnight, wide open, three-point shot on the way, and good! Clay McKnight hits his fourth outside shot of the night. He's got 14. Whistle on a foul on the dribble. It's going to be the Tigers' seventh team foul. They call this one on Scott Thomas. You know, it's, it's great to see Clay have the type of you know, it's really great to see Clay have the type of game that he's having tonight. You know, this has been a long time coming for him, and this is going to do just wonders for his confidence to be able to come out and shoot the ball the way he is tonight. 14 points. He's the second leading scorer as St. Clair hits free throw number one. St. Clair has uh, one and a penalty. Tigers are shooting 61% from the field for the game. Second free throw pops out. Michael goes up and gets his ninth rebound. And the Tigers are hitting 60% from the outside. Thomason throws the ball out of bounds up the floor. As he was trying to get it to McKnight, and he led him a little bit too far. So those three-point shots have really made a huge difference. The Tigers are 11 of 19. Here's a layup no good by uh, Cunningham, and getting the rebound is Barry Marvel. He's trapped, but gets out of it. Hands a pass off to McKnight, who feeds it up to Corey Anders. Beautiful pass to Michael O, who lays it up and in on the assist by Corey Anders. Michael has 19. Dane Plock with a three-point shot that's good on Scott Thomason on the right wing. 73-53 is the score with 5.49 left to go. Mark Richardson, uh, who has 12 points, is the only Titan in double figures, comes back into the game, and Corey Sanders sits down. 
be a Tiger basketball as they uh, work the press now, full court press. Corey Anders will inbound to Marvel, who hands it right back to Corey. And now to Thomason. Thomason dribbles uh, off of his foot, but he's fouled. Thomason was in trouble, and it's a good thing that he was fouled because he was running out of time. He only had about two seconds to get it over the timeline. Yeah. And all of the Pacific uh, players were in that right corner. Yeah, they're, they're, they're spacing against this full court pressure defense is, is not good. They, they got to position themselves in the open gaps because it, it is a zone press. And as the ball's being dribbled towards you, you sort of have to go away and, uh, and look for the pass. You know, come back for the pass. That was team foul number six and the second on St. Clair. Tigers inbound the basketball. Corey Anders has it in the right wing. Looks to feed it to Thomas and does. Spins it to McKnight to Barry Marvel in the left corner, dribbles to 15 feet, shoots the jumper, no good, tip up and in by Michael O with the right hand. And he has 21 points and 10 rebounds, so he has now reached his averages. Richardson dribbles to 17 feet and hits the jumper. Mark Richardson with 14 points, seven of eight from the field for Richardson. As the Titans as a team are shooting 44%. 13 turnovers for uh, Cal State Fullerton. Corey is trapped, bounces a pass to Scott Thomas, and it goes cross court to McKnight for another three. It's good again. Clay McKnight has 17 points. He's five of six from the outside. And another foul is called. And they call it on Thomason again on the dribble, and that's going to be another uh, couple of free throws. One and a penalty for St. Clair. With four minutes and 44 seconds left. Michael O comes out of the game. Rain Mahaffey replaces him. Michael with 21 points, 10 rebounds, 9 of 14 from the field. And Earl Clark gets an ovation as he gets off the bench. Free throw is good by St. Clair, the first. Boy, the 20-some point lead, Dave, uh, with four minutes and something to go. The last thing Pacific wants to do is foul Fullerton and stop the clock. You know, get back down and play good position defense. Don't reach in. Give them one shot, then go get the rebound. Don't commit any fouls. Don't stop the clock. St. Clair hits both free throws, 78-57. Here comes Kenroy Jarrett again. He'll replace St. Clair. And there's the press and a whistle, and uh, Tigers turn it over. I'm not sure what the signal was. Corey uh, was still out of bounds. The ball came back in. The Corey and passed he was still it still standing out. Yeah, he was still standing out of bounds when they passed it back to him. And uh, Thomas is going to call another 20-second timeout as Pacific turns it over. But again, a commanding lead with four minutes and 42 seconds left. It is Pacific 78 to 57 over Fullerton. Yeah, and you know, Coach Thomason called that timeout because he, he wants to remind his players that there's four minutes and 42 seconds left in this game. And even though Pacific has a comfortable lead, 21-point lead, they do not want to be this ragtime. They don't want to use this last four minutes and 42 seconds just to play out the game and, and play, uh, you know, don't execute the way they normally can. So he doesn't want any, you know, ragtime basketball. He doesn't want any ugly basketball this last four minutes. Well, Clay McKnight has had a heck of a game. He's uh, five for six from three-point distance and 17 points in just 13 minutes of work. He's the second leading scorer, second to Michael Ottawa Candy with 21 points in 31 minutes, and Michael has five blocks. Michael is now just six blocks away from the career lead at Pacific for shot blockers. We were talking at the beginning of the year about whether or not Michael was going to make that mark, and hypothetically discussing that uh, he would need two and a half blocks a game in order to get there, and he's going to shatter it. Tigers hitting at a 62% clip for the game. Titans with the basketball, inbounding baseline left. It comes to Dane Plock for a three that's good. Plock hits another one from outside, and he all of a sudden has a nine. Here's Earl Clark in the game at the point. He replaces Scott Thomas. Corey Anders with the basketball now, dribbling up to Clark. Clark is trapped, bounces it to Mahaffey with 424 left to go. Now back to McKnight. And Clark and McKnight are in the backcourt with Anders and Barry Marvel and Rain Mahaffey up front. McKnight has it now, watched by uh, Cunningham. Dribbles around the perimeter, spins it left to Corey Anders. 
Corey watched by Dane Plock with nine seconds on the timer. Corey gets a screen, dribbles right all the way, banks it up, no good. But the rebound comes out to Clark. It was tapped out to him by Barry Marvel. Clark shoots because the uh, shot clock was expiring. It didn't hit the rim. Clark had to throw up a prayer because the shot clock had had not been reset because the uh, previous shot didn't touch the rim. And the shot was no good. And the shot clock expired, and the Titans have the basketball trailing 78 to 60. Three minutes, 58 seconds left to go. The time is running out on Cal State Fullerton. Here's Kenroy Jarrett to Mark Richardson, who's the leading scorer for the Titans with 14 points. Hands the ball off to Cunningham. Dribble drive baseline, right hand hook, no tip up and in. That was Corey Sanders on the offensive boards. 78-62. Jacobson is in the game. And... Uh, so Jake is in there for Clark. Corey Anders feeds it right side. McKnight, another three-point shot. He's good! He's got six on the night. 20 for the game. Kenroy Jarrett feeds it right side to uh, Whitehead. Post up inside Sanders. Left-hand hook is a banker that's good over Michael O. 81-64 with 3.09 in counting. So Clay McKnight is having a career night. He's done it in less than 20 minutes of basketball. He's done it in about 16 minutes. Adam Jacobson is fouled on the dribble. It's team foul number seven, and Jake gets one on a penalty. Tigers maintain that 60% field goal clip, both from the regular field and from outside 19-9. They've hit 28 of 46 shots. 14 three-pointers have gone down tonight, and six of those are by Clay McKnight. Yeah, he's he's really picked up the the slack at the at the guard position as far as the outside shooting. And Adam Adam hasn't been able to get set and really free himself for many shots tonight. And Clay's come in and got some real good looks and uh, has put him down. First free throw by Jacobson is good. He has seven points. As was the case on Thursday, four Tigers are in double figures as Rain Mahaffey gets an ovation and comes out of the game. He has 11 points. Aaron Volichko has 11. Second free throw is good by Jake. He has eight. McKnight with 20 and Michael with 21. 257 left. Tigers lead by 19 points. 83 to 64. Whitehead feeds it cross court. Jarrett lift fake. Now he goes up for the shot from three. No good. Cunningham fights for the rebound. Doesn't get it. Michael does, but travels. It's actually a good call. Crowd doesn't like it, but uh, Michael lost control of uh, his footing and it was falling backwards. Took an extra step, and the Titans will inbound from the baseline left. Michael has 11 rebounds now. Pass comes way out on top. Whitehead has it, guarded by Corey Anders. The Tigers stay here in this man-to-man -man defense with 2.38 left to go. Pass back to uh, Jarrett for three that doesn't go down, and Corey Anders goes up high and strong for the rebound over Cunningham. Grabs it, outlets it to Jacobson, and then the foul is called which will be a shooting foul on the other end of the floor for Pacific, and I think, I'm not sure if it was Jacobson or Corey Anders that was fouled, but they call it on uh, St. Clair, which is his, uh, or I beg your pardon, on Cunningham, which is his third, team's eighth, and Corey's gonna get uh, one and a penalty. Anders with five points on the night, first free throw is off the front iron, doesn't go. And Richardson goes up and gets the rebound. So Corey's had a rough offensive night. He does have six rebounds now. Just two of four from the field. This coming off of 25 points on Thursday. Cunningham dribbling between his legs, spins on Anders, kicks it back out, left side, Sanders, baseline left. A left-hand hook goes up, no good. Corey goes up, gets his seventh rebound. Outlet pass to Jake. We're down now to two minutes and five seconds left to go. Jacobson dribbles out of trouble over the timeline, spins the pass to Anders, back to Jake, and now they'll... Let some time expire off that clock. Nick Foster has come into the basketball game. Foster is in from the halfy. Jacobson now back at the midcourt emblem with 149 to go. Double teamed as Cunningham comes out to get him. Pass left side, Corey Anders. Shoots an 18-footer, and it's a round and no good. And Sanders, the 6'11 freshman, gets the outlet pass after the rebound up the floor to Jarrett. Cunningham, Whitehead, and Whitehead shoots and hits an 18-footer. 83-66 with one and a half minutes to go. Tigers are going to be four and two. They've come home 
and won all four games after losing the first two on the road at uh, Utah State and at Nevada. Now they'll go back and see what they can do on the road again. Have a 20 second timeout or a full timeout called by Bob Thomas. We'll take a break. Tigers in possession, 115 to go. It's Pacific 83 and Fullerton 66. Center. It's 83 to 66, and Clay McKnight has had a heck of a game. 20 points for Clay, six of seven shooting, and a couple of free throws. Four Tigers are in double figures, led by Michael O with 21 and uh, Clay McKnight with 20. Scott Thomason has checked back into the game, and also uh, Bill Walton is in there as well. Nick Foster gets the post up. And a give and go to Walton, and he misses the dunk. But he was fouled. He'll get a couple of free throws. Walton right down the center of the key. Fullerton uh, prevailing over UOP in the women's game down south, 65 to 57. That game went into overtime. And the ladies losing, but to quite a battle down south. So Bill Walton in the game, the 6'5", 205 pound freshman from Sonora, a red shirt. He's uh, been to the free throw line four times this year. He's made two shots. There you see him just missing the dunk. First free throw is off the mark, off the back iron. 58.2 left in the game. It's 83-66. Thomason has now gone deep down the bench here with Clark and Scooter, Walton, Barry Marvel, and Foster in the game at the same time. Second free throw is good. 84-66, under a minute left. Here is uh, Kenroy Jarrett. Now to Devon Wright, who's in the game for the first time. Shot is up and no good by Whitehead. Baseball pass to Foster, and he slams it in. <laughs> Nick Foster gets the bucket with 37 seconds left. It's 86 to 66. A nice way to go on the road, blowing out Cal State, who is coming off of a pretty good win over Long Beach. Here's Jarrett bouncing a pass out to Sanders. Sanders throws a pass intended for Jarrett. It's picked by Thomason. Scott with 18 seconds left to go. Feeds to Walton for a three-point shot that's no good. And Sanders gets the rebound. We're down to 12 seconds left. Now under 10. And Pacific is going to be 4-2 and two in the Big West Conference. Devon Wright feeds it under the basket. Cunningham lays it up and in on the right block. And that's going to do it. Well, they steal the inbound pass and throw up a three, but it doesn't go. Pacific wins the basketball game tonight over Cal State Fullerton by a final score of 86 to 68. A very strong 18-point win. And they're going to need the momentum of these four straight home wins as they hit the road next week at the University of Idaho and at Long Beach State. That's going to do it for our broadcast. Stay with us. The post-game show is coming up courtside live. We'll have our player of the game, and we'll analyze this one tonight and take a look at the numbers. Final score, Pacific 86, Fullerton 68. It's in your heart and soul, and you just been told.